uh, Gimbal, tie this around yourself just in case we need to drag you back, and then I'll I'll toss one side um, over to him. I'm crawling all all over the statue here, and I kind of look at the rope for a minute, think about it. Um, no, it, I'm okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll just die and pull the rope back. Why don't you swim over? Why don't you swim over to the uh, the chest over there? Check it out. My armor's a little heavy. Is there something about being tall that makes you cowardly? <laughs> cowardly. Think you're brave. Cowardly. <clears throat> Reckless. Yeah, recklessly, you gnome. <laughs> All right, I'm. I'm put. After he says that, I'm pulling up the rope, and he called me a coward. I, I gotta go. Is, is gotta the go arm try it. like permanently attached to you? You can't strip it off for a little swim. I'd rather not. You can also. You can always doff your armor. Yeah. All right. Ford says, feel- "How come you don't do it, little man?" Oh. I'll hop back on dog. Or do you always need the help of that little dog you're riding? I'll hop back on dog, and uh, <laughs> we'll, I'll, we'll swim over to the uh, to the chest. You can climb up. And as he's swimming, I'm going to try to take my armor off really fast so I can try to beat him there. So w- when I get up, I'm going to give it a quick look. At, you know, I, I can't find traps, but maybe there's some magical thing that catches my eye sure. and if not i pop the lid for sure. <laughs> all right so lynn it's gonna take probably about if you do your armor quickly it'd probably take about 10 minutes or so so he he would definitely get there well well ahead of you even getting your armor off ah damn it all right so when i see when i see he reaches the base then i'll all the stuff that I've taken off so far, I'll slowly start clasping it back on <laughs> okay. with a defeated look. Like on my your face. first piece of gear. Yeah. The, like the first strap yeah, the, of the, gear. The very yeah. first thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a, this 20 by 20 foot cube. Uh, you can get up. You're going to have to help. You have to help your dog up. You know what I mean? But, uh, well, block- what I'll do is I'll just, dis- I'll dismiss him. Mm-hmm. Into an extra dimensional space, and then when I get up on top, I'll recall them. Sure. The sides are pitted. You know, you can, especially with your small feet, your small hands, you can easily get up there. Plenty of handholds. And there's a, a, a chest up there. It's got a chain. It's basically chained to the top of it, so it's not like you can just open up the chest or anything. So there's a chain on it. <clears throat> and uh, there's a big lock that holds the chain on. So I'm going to knock on the side of the chest, and then I'm going to say, like, you okay. know, you knock on like the, the only curse word in giant I know, or just, <laughs> you know, Caca. I- I'm thinking there might be some more golems in there, so... Or, Golem. You don't hear any scratching, and it's made of iron, so yeah, you tap on it with your tools or whatever, you don't hear anything. Anybody in there? You hear nothing. Nothing so responds I'm to gonna, you. I'm going to whip out my tinkers. Whoa, easy. I uh, thought you were going to say something else. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> easy know. there, tripod, little gnome. Easy there. <laughs> So I'm going to get my tinker's tools out, and I'm going to, to, it's probably unskilled, but I'm going to try to see if I can undo this lock. Sure. So can I do a, a disadvantage you dex can do, check? Yeah, you can do a disadvantage dex check for sure. It's a DC 15, so let's see if he, if he gets a 15. Nope, you fiddle around with it, fiddle around with it, and you almost break one of your engineering tools. You're like, oh. I better stop that before I break my tool. Oh, dad, come on. That's, that's not that. <clears throat> uh, so I res- resigned. I put away my stuff. Chain, I, I mean, you can beat chains. 
I mean, it's well, but I'm else. a pretty small guy. Yeah. Hey, who's gonna come over and help me break this lock? There's nothing in this chest, guys. This chest like is just all like, cowards. That's all they are. It's actually a, a a trap, which is great. I can't wait. <laughs> Lynn, take nothing, your armor guys. off and swim out nothing. there. <laughs> take another ten minutes. It's like casting yeah. a ritual. All right. All right. You can go ahead and head right. out there. You can take ten minutes and head out there. I'll do it. I might tie that rope to you, though. I'll tie yeah, you, yeah, I definitely am. <laughs> tie tie a rope to myself and hey, that's smart. Take the armor. I'm telling you, man, that's smart tying rope on. <clears throat> All right, Lance. I just it's... feel naked. Oh, I know. You're used to having your having your uh, armor on. I do. Whenever I get my uh, armor off, I go ahead and take my shirt off, and then I pull out a little oil and just go ahead and you know lather up a little bit before I head off. <laughs> you break up that. I just I have to if I take if I take the armor off, it's, I gotta you know moisturize. So moisturize. All right, I head over. <laughs> oh my god, this is just too good. All right, so there you go. You move. You move as well. And I'm going to unlock these tokens. Okay, so you come go. here, Gimbal. What are we looking at? Both of you well, are the big, there on the stone the big slab. lock? I can't. I don't know how to undo locks. I, I mean, I've seen locks broken up before, but I, I, I don't know how to do it. What's up? I wish we had a good, uh, a good, good speak around sir. here. You never probably try to break it. I could try to enlarge you and you could break that shit. Well, why don't you break it? You're already large. It's talking to Lynn. Or really, is meant for Lynn. You'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. I yeah. Enlarged you. <laughs> yeah. So I want to, I want to try to break it. Um, can I, can I first try to take a swing at it? Yeah, sure. You can do that. Yeah. You swing and it looks like it damages the chain. Yeah, that, that's Sparks gonna work. Fly off keep of it. Keep it. I'll root you on. Good. All right, okay. so I'll keep doing it until I can break it, if I can. Yeah, you just keep chopping and chopping and chopping. Well, after about. 10 or so swings the chains snap not one but both of them because you were hitting sort of at this point where they were joined and then all of a sudden as the chains snap down into the water so it's, it's like they were pulled with with some type of force all of a sudden the chest the lid opens up nothing falls out of it now I need you guys to do a couple of dex checks because this whole thing tilts down towards the water to the north. And as you're on uh, top of this, you can see that there's this this whirlpool in the chamber to the north and you could hear the water kind of sloshing around and whatnot. So let's get a couple of dexterity checks here. And I know that, uh, Lynn, you've got the rope tied around you. Yeah, and... I want to try because I know that Gimbal doesn't have the rope on him. I want to try if I can to dive and grab him. All right, if that's possible, I'll go ahead and make the check. Yeah, let's let's okay. do the uh, the dexterity saving throws first. So Dave, yeah, well that's not happening. Do I have any action here, like a bonus action? Uh, you get a dexterity saving throw as this that, thing that I, I tilts down. No, well, I mean, what are you trying to do? Right. Uh, cast misty step. Whereabouts do you want to go? Uh, away. As my, as close to the uh, shore as I can get. I'll tell you what. You make your deck saving throw, and I'll let you do Misty Step. All right. Here, here goes nothing. Not too 13. bad. Fair enough. You Misty Step away. Pow. Lynn? So I lunge out for... You slide down. <laughs> And as you go to lunge, and as you lunge, he teleports away from you, and you basically you slide down to the base of the statue because, like I said, 
from back here where you were at, it was still in the air. But this thing just tilted yeah. down and you went over to go get him and you slid and now you're you're in the water. So this rope, how long is this rope, number one? Is uh it it is uh <laughs> fifty foot. All right, so that means that you would have been right here in the first place. So that would be, yep. and who's holding? Who's holding the rope? Well, that's what I was just thinking. You know, as as this happens, I uh, I realize for that moment, you know, it's kind of like you left the stove on. I realized that I I don't think I asked anybody to hold the other side. <laughs> no, well, I don't think I'm sure somebody grabbed have. it. Yeah, I know somebody <laughs> would have grabbed it. I know for a fact somebody would have. Yeah, that I'm is pretty good you. though. Did you yeah, guys it, really? Really? <laughs> yeah. So one or two poles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so who wants to be holding on to the rope to make that strength check? To make save your Andrew. to save your friend. It better be Ander. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Ander. You're about to let's see, ten, twenty, thirty, you're forty feet away. Give me a strength check. Can I grab on two and help? Oh man, it's so you're so lucky. Yeah, you 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 hold him. You're holding him at the top so he doesn't slide down. So you're you know this thing is tilted at like a forty five degree angle. You got to slide. You slide a little bit, but then Ander DC ten. That's what I was looking for. Strength check. He's holding you up on the top. Hey, Lynn, you, what's Rad, in the, the chest? Bits. Thank you, Rad. Appreciate it. What? What's in the chest? I, I, uh, all right, I'll look. There is so nothing I'll in look. a note except for a little note that's attached to the uh, to the chest. There's a note. Well, what's it say? It's an IOU. So can I tell? Can I? Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> can I tell what it says? Can I uh, read it or even? grab it off or something it says beware of lubed paladins <laughs> this is what yeah. it says oh <laughs> uh, that's what the note says i sent it i sent a tell to you lynn yeah it's it's it says better luck next time suckers <laughs> yeah who's it from hold on i'm i'm looking and so I, I looked a little closer. There's there's like some kind of mark on the bottom of it. I'm seeing if it says who it's from. It says Reynard Ambergol. All right, that's <laughs> it. Pull pull me back. Pull me back. Ah, uh, too good. Nice trick from uh, old Reynard, huh? Yeah. Just glad we had that rope tied around me. Yeah, I could have got pretty hairy, honestly. We played this years back, and my son fell in. He he almost drowned. He went down. <laughs> if it wasn't for his wild shape, his wild shape saved him. <clears throat> so as, right. I, as, as I come back up on shore and start to get my armor, I say, this was not worth it. Well, there, it, it would have been worth it. There's a bunch of great loot in there, right? That's the whole point. But now you know. Yeah, all the loot fell out as mm. the chest toppled over. Now I'm just kidding. Mm, <laughs> <It right>. didn't. <laughs> See in the whirlpool. That would have I never would have, I would never would have bitch, ever huh? slept again if I, I didn't find out what was in that chest. I would have just <sighs> never, never slept. Yeah, actually, the rope <laughs> slipped off of you because of all of the oil. So, <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. That would have been, yeah, that would have been good. All right, guys, let's get our cart loaded up and get out of here. Who got my wand? John getting what, his ten. What about this other tunnel? Yeah, there's a tunnel down to the south, also. Oh, where does that go? Looks like it goes down into the. Looks like it goes down into a huge cavernous underworld. What he said. (sighs) 
Is seven even out yet? Do you want to explore? I didn't think here? seven was coming out until. Uh, I guess that would be March. I think Chris said. If you guys want to get I'm in still there putting again. my armor on. Yeah, it could take you about ten minutes or so. <clears throat> so is this a, a natural type cavern? It is. Yeah. It's it is. And you can actually see that there's a lot of tracks. Looks like this is where the Minotaur came from. Because of all of the dirt and whatnot. And it goes off. It looks like you're... This is a path that leads to the Underdark. And I as never cast light. Yeah, and as you, as you cast light, you can hear... You can hear someone beating on something metal. And then you can hear... Hey! Who is that out there? Who is this? Are you here? Hello? Drizzit, is that you? Kimball, how'd you get stuck on the other side of the door? <laughs> That's not That's what me. I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like this is Drizzit. What's going on? <laughs> Let's go. Kimball's decided, and we're going. You yeah, really don't I... sound like Drizzit. I hope you're not coming down here to try to hold me up. Because I've got friends, you know. Ah, uh, okay. Who are you? You tell me your name first. Gimbal. My name's Mick. Nice to meet ya. Uh, hi, Mick. Uh, where are you? Can't see ya. You can hear him beating on something metal. So as oh, you... uh, yeah, I'm way, way too curious not to find out what this is, Dave. So I'm just going to follow that to... beating Yeah, noise. we're all going. Sure. Yeah, we're going. <laughs> it's been decided. <clears throat> so, as soon as you say Mick, everybody's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll pull up uh, another map for you guys really quick. And I'll go ahead and put everybody down on the grid. Come to an open cavern area. You see this weird contraption that looks like a beer can with legs and claws, like a giant crab. <clears throat> and then you see uh, on the front, there is a, a gnome that has the, the hood up on this thing. And you can see that there's all kinds of, he's throwing all kinds of gears and sprockets out all over the place. And I am in there like Flynn, Dave. Yeah, he he looks up and he sees all of you, and his face is covered with uh, like grease and oil and all that stuff. And he says, "Hey, how's everybody doing? My name's Mick. What do you guys want? Are you guys here to? I know you've probably heard of me. I'm probably the most uh, famous of all of the merchants of the Underdark. I'm Mick, Mick the Peddler." I have all kinds of Mick. exotic goods and wares for sale and potions and scrolls and all kinds of magic items and yeah. So I'm kind of Mick. traveling along and then all of a sudden well, my, uh, my, my, my quailish here just kind of, whoa, easy quailish. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> this is, I'm just traveling around. I'm going to my next destination. I'm going to trade with some drow in this place called Valkenvelv. Wow! Wow! This thing's got a mind Sorry of its own. You'll have to. You'll have to. Uh, you'll have to pardon him. He's got a mind of his own. Really, he does. So we were going to go to Valkenvelv, and then all of a sudden, this thing just starts spitting grease. Look at all the pools of grease all over this place. Here's pools to the left of you. There's gears and sprockets all over the place he says i've been stranded here for almost a week now and i'm waiting i'm waiting for a a, 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 a care package i i've got uh one of my friends a uh, long time friends uh he's a, a drow and, and don't worry he's not gonna hurt you uh his his name is drizzit and he's supposed to be bringing a package to me so i can get my quailish back on the road here well i guess Get back to the burrowing, <laughs> but but anyways, uh, 
What are you guys doing? Are you guys looking to buy anything? I, or are you looking to sell anything? I, hey, I'm a wheeler and a dealer. Let's let's make some deals. I've First got of all, nothing Nick, but time right where now. Did, where did you get this? And how can I get one? <clears throat> and I'm just crawling all over, the, looking at all the gears. I've got my my tool bag sprung open for, uh, you know, get my inspection mirror and prodding it. Just, just <laughs> totally going over this way. She's a pretty sweet piece of machinery, isn't she? Oh, you bet she is. Yeah, she's she's a one of a kind. This is called oh. a, a quailish, quailish of apparatus, wow. or an apparatus of quailish. However you want to fucking say it, don't matter to me. Well, how, how'd she break down, Mick? Well, I guess I just was kind of maybe running her a little bit too rough. The more Let's you burrow, the more things can go wrong. Oh, this thing is, is beautiful. I've had it for about 200 years now. Well, she's a beaut, that's for sure. Yeah. And I, I, I am trying to diagnose it as we're we're sitting there chit chatting about it and uh, trying to trying to help him out here. He says, I've got a couple of broken discombobulator canooter valves in there. That's the problem. So I'm just oh, waiting for old Jesus to bring that'll this. Be, yeah. That'll be tough to fix in the field, but but maybe I've got something and I, I dump out a whole bag of spare parts and Little, fucking uh, charred kitten yeah. parts and stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh, the cat parts are in there too. Oh, hey, who just said that in dark speak? Hey, how do you know how to speak the dark tongue? He's talking to you, Ander. Learn from Drizzard. <clears throat> who you know, Drizzard? He's been my friend for about three hundred years now. And how I got this thing was we, we were doing some betting with some mind flayers one time in a, in a big gambling game, a big card game. And it was an all-in. And, and it was me versus, versus the mind flayer, Zorg. And I beat him. So I won his apparatus of Quailish. And I've had it ever since. Ah, such a beautiful piece of machinery. Yeah, and it looks no, nice. it is not for sale. Maybe I could give you a ride somewhere, though. Where are you heading to? If Drizzle gets back pretty soon, maybe I can take you guys somewhere. Where are you heading to? Waterdeep? Eh? Anywhere? Anywhere in particular? Going down to the Underdark? You going to Val You want to go to Valken Valve with me? I'm sure they probably won't try to enslave you. Because no, I don't want to do Out of the Abyss, because Out of the Abyss really sucks anyway, so I don't think I'd put you through that. <laughs> Mick, well met. Uh, yes. My name is Lynn Tarm. We, we have a uh, Lynn Tarm, yes, 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 yes. you got a, a prisoner. That we are taking oh. back to uh, Daggerford. But, Daggerford, uh, oh, the Maldwins. Good people. Yes, exactly, exactly. You know them. Yeah, is that Gimp Paladin Estival over there? He's still, he owes me a couple of, he owes me some gold. Is that where you're oh, heading? Maybe we'll swing by we, Daggerford. We are, we are. But in the meantime, we uh, we actually have a load of, uh, load of treasure, you might say, a, a large cart full. Ooh, well, I'll tell you what, my good adventuring friends. How about... <clears throat> This doing Mick really tears my fucking voice up, too. So I'll tell you what, <laughs> Avengers. <clears throat> if you guys have any extra flask of oil, I'll take them because I forgot. <laughs> Sometimes my memory is a little, eh, you know, a little squiggly. I'm getting a little up there in the years. And I'll tell you what, if you give me, if you have any oil, wow, I smell some oil. Holy cow, Lintar. <laughs> Where is all that oil coming from? It smells like it's coming from your direction. <laughs> so, uh, uh, funny you should mention, uh, I, I just, just happened to use some myself. I, I, maybe we can wipe some off. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> just scrape it off his ass. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I do have one more flask left. Well, I'll take it. I'll probably be about uh, probably about three to five flasks short. These these discombobulators, these things just drink oil like like a human does milk. <laughs> so so I'll, I'll I'll take out the oil and look at it, uh, you know, sadly as I hand it over. 
Hmm. Anybody else with any spare oil I've, that you can yeah, that you can I've spare? already got my oil out and I, I oil. set it over where you where you fill up. Oh, much wow. appreciated. I don't have any oil, but I'd be interested to see what you're selling. Well, I'm selling all kinds of stuff. I'll I'll, I'll tell you what. If you got anything to sell, seeing that you really you you took care of old Mick here, I'll tell you what. I'll give you full value of any treasure that you have right now. So if you have any cool trinkets or maybe jewelry or anything like that, maybe I'll uh, I'll, I'll buy it all for for uh, face value. How about that? I won't even I won't even take the the discount merchant off that the player handbook tells me to take off. So it'll be full retail. Nice. <laughs> the player handbook. Show them these balloons from Carrot Top. What do you think of these? Oh, those. Oh, those are uh, <laughs> those pieces of shit. Those things aren't worth nothing. I don't want those damn contraptions. <laughs> if you're gonna do magic, do magic. Tell jokes. Don't use props. Props are garbage. 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 So, so what? What are you selling? Well, I, I think we, I don't know that there's anything we, we want to keep from the, the loot guys, is there? Let's see, I got 1,450, 1,900. Wow, there's actually 2,200. Wow, 2,750, 900. Wow, you guys got 2,900 worth of gold. Wow, that is insane. And that was with the, the armor parts and, and all that stuff. So let me uh let me divvy that stuff up with you guys real quick. Sweet. Wow, five eighty a piece. Wow, welcome to the game, guys, and you guys get five eighty. Awesome. <laughs> Jeez. Do you have any like wool slippers I can, you know, rub together and build up like a static charge? <laughs> wool slippers. <laughs> Uh, you know. Do you have a vagina down there, buddy? What do you got going on? <laughs> Slippers. Jesus. Criminetly. Well, more than criminetly. Hey, I'm a mage. I can't be wearing boots. So I'm a mm. mage. Let me let me see what I've got here. And Mick, he walks over to the side of the Quailish, and he, he lifts up a couple of the, the hatches. And it's sort of like one of those old circus, you know, wagons from like the 1800s where it has a bunch of pots and pans and shit hanging down and but he's got a lot of nice things too and he goes i think i might have some i think i might have some kind of slippers around here for you and he's digging around and digging around and digging around and he says i know there's something around here and he says aha here they are and he pulls out this pair of slippers and they look like this. Sorry, they're not really on the, the super feminine side like you're probably wanting and all. But the, <laughs> <laughs> the, the everybody loves Mick. These things, uh, these things are actually pretty nice. They're called the slippers of spider climbing. And you could own these for 500 gold, 500 big ones. What a deal. Uh, I'll take it. Yeah. When, when you wear these things, boy, look how light they are, too. Uh, basically, it'll allow you to move vertical on, like, surfaces, uh, upside down, all that. They're pretty powerful. And you have a climbing speed equal to your speed, to your, you know, your combat walking speed. So for you, Zero, you would be able to move 30 feet. I think you're moving us 30 feet, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you'd be able to move vertically, walk upside down, all that stuff. 500 gold. Mixes 500 gold. Sold. All right. So, Mick, do you, uh, you don't have yes. to have any, any uh, plate mail in there, do you? I'm, I'm really feeling vulnerable. Plate mail? I let, like uh, let me let me let me find out here. Uh, let me get to zeros sheet really quick. Yeah, and Go I'm ahead. gonna I'm gonna add those boots okay. of spider climbing onto your sheet. So there you go. 
You've got uh, boots, spider climbing. Let's see where are they at. There you go. There you go, man. You got boots of spider climbing. Okay. Deduct 500 gold. All righty. And he says, Fashion. nice doing business with ya. All right, knucklehead. You said you wanted some, you said you wanted some plate mail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this chain mail is just not, not protecting me as much as I would like. I'd also like for it to have a have a uh, six pack molded done to it, you know. <laughs> it, it would go well with the, just the, the whole ensemble. I, the oiled body. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what. I do have some plate mail. I've got some plate mail. They're gonna. It's gonna cost you though. Plate mail is pretty expensive, and this even has this even has the six pack abs too. Oh, it's gonna cost you fifteen hundred big ones though. Uh, you gotta be pretty okay. strong, but you. I mean, you you look uh, you look pretty strong. You might be able. You to know, if you've got those diamonds, you'd have enough money. You know, I could pitch in and help too. I've got, I think I have more than everyone here. Yeah, listen to your friend. He's willing to give you some coin. <laughs> yeah, it's really. It's all about like, making me, deals, guys. You're very kind, Cardos. Time give is you a, money. I could give you a hundred gems, which is about a thousand. Time is okay. money, my friends. Uh, excuse that me, one hundred gems and and dungeon. Hold on, I'm getting a message here. He's got a little earbud <laughs> in. He's got an earbud that he wears, and he goes up. Oh, I'm getting a message from your dungeon master. He's telling me whoever just said that 100 gems is a thousand gold is going to get killed because it's 100 gold means 100 gems. Gems, you knucklehead, is a one per one ratio. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> so I have a. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a thousand. I have. Uh, one thousand one hundred eighty-five gold right now. You're gonna need four hundred there, Bakaru. Four hundred. Anybody more. spare four hundred? I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you four hundred gems. All right, everybody, deduct your money off of your sheets. We're wheeling and dealing here. We're. It's called economy control, guys. Economy control. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Now you're gonna have a thirty-five armor class in D and D five E. Wow, you're in God mode. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I, as I as I run my fingers across the uh, washboard abs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, zero almost got some plate mail there. I got to take that off of zero. <laughs> Hold on. All right, Lynn. Let's see. All right, you got plate mail now. Thank you. <laughs> So go ahead and deduct all that money. I guys. understood that one to one. Yep, thing. I <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this just in again from my dungeon master. That's strike one, buddy. <laughs> That's strike one. Well, how, how maybe you have something for me instead of making fun of me, you little fuck. Oh, oh, oh no. did I just did I just hear that right? Did my uh, did my ears just? Uh, no, no, you didn't hear that right. What's the matter with you? I'm gonna climb a wall. <laughs> what do you need there? What do you need there, Cardos? What are you looking for, buddy? Time is money. Any arcane supplies? Arcane supplies, as in a little bit more specific. Spell component pouch, maybe an arcane implement, maybe a necklace of fireballs. Ah, it's up to you. Well, it's like I need to turn down the. AC, it's hot as fuck in here. Anybody else looking for anything? Yeah, Mick, um, I could really use a, a, a scroll with a knock spell. You got one of those? Hmm. Oh, good thinking, Gibble. Good thinking. Knock, huh? Hmm, I think I've got one around here somewhere.
And I can I can also use something to you know help me dodge uh, you know <clears throat> uh, help me help me get out of trouble a little bit because yes. uh, I'm hanging around with these guys and we get in a lot of fights and uh, something to something to help me dodge and get out of the way would be great. Well, you kind of remind uh, you kind of remind me of a younger me there, Gimbal. I was once an adventurer too, but now I'm just a merchant. But I do have that scroll of knock. It'll cost you 200 gold. Hmm. That sounds a little steep. Can you throw like a ring of protection or bracers of defense or something in with it? And, um, <laughs> That's maybe a nice get a, try. A discount? Well, not for 200. I mean, well, the normal price is 204 gold. And I'm oh, offering it to on, you for yeah. 200. I'll tell you what, give me a persuasion check. And I will do a roll as well. Good luck on that. I just rolled a 20. Oh my God, he rolled a 22. <laughs> <clears throat> but I, I didn't. Uh, that is pretty nice. You know what I rolled? What'd you get? <laughs> I'm gonna be pretty firm Dang. on this one. Two hundred. Dave, I rolled twenty. A twenty, Dave. Come I rolled on. a twenty-two. I rolled a twenty. How about let's do? Uh, we'll do one more roll off. Yeah. Okay. Right. I rolled a twenty as well. So we'll just go ahead. And I'll look at Gimbal and say you're not very persuasive. No, he is not. I'm gonna stay at two hundred gold. Well, mark, okay. All mark right. down from 200, 200 for the All right. 200 for the knock spell, but do you have like bracers of defense or a ring of protection? <clears throat> something like that. I think I might have uh, some bracers. Let me, let me take a look at this. I've got some bracers of archery. I've got some bracers of defense. Yeah, but the bracers of defense... They're going to be pretty expensive, little man. And he, and he pulls them out, and they look like this. These things are actually, these things are pretty rare. You know, these things, they, they actually boost your protection quite a bit. Well, that's what I'm looking for. What, can I still cast spells wearing those? Oh, of, of course you can. And you have to perform a ritual to attune these to yourself. How much do you have, Gimbo? Let's see first if you can afford them or not. I don't want you to be disappointed can, or anything. I can help you out if you need it. Well, that'd be a silly thing for me to tell you what my upper limit is. You, well, you just tell me what it's worth. Well, I'm, I'm looking for 5,000 gold. Oh, you can't be serious. 5,000? I'm, that's, I'm that's, dead that's serious. serious. Oh, I can't, I can't help you with there, man. And the ring of protection, that's the same thing. They're pretty expensive. It's not like they're a common item, you know, like the like the, the boots of climbing and stuff. Those, those things are pretty, those, those things are, are pretty common. Now, when you start getting into the rings of protections, the braces of protections, the cloaks of protection, stuff like that, then it starts getting a little bit more pricey. Actually, a lot more pricey. Even the ring? Yeah, the ring's about 5000 as well. So you're looking at a big 10 spot if you're looking for both of them. But I don't oh, have, I, I don't have I the ring do here. That. The ring's back at what? my shanty. On the well, I'll just, I'll just take the knock scroll then. Well, is there anything else that uh, interests you? I'm sure I probably have other things. <clears throat> other tricks and gadgets. and have some weapons and... Have some wands. Oh, I don't really use don't really use weapons. What kind of wands do you got? Wand of magic missiles is always useful. Mm, well, that's actually what I was just looking for. You look like the you look like the arcanic type. I do have a wand of magic missiles, and he pulls it out. Is this what you're looking for? Oh yeah, that's a nice one. 500 and a cheers. Well, um, all right, sold. 
Okie dokie. Nice doing business with ya. So I'll put what might you have for a cleric, Mick? I've got I've got quite a bit of stuff for for the holy men. There you go. I got that added to your sheet. Check. Sure. Oh well, what are you looking for? Are you looking for a mace? Are you looking for a hammer? Are you looking for a symbol? Or are you looking for anything? Are you looking for a? Oh, I have this. Maybe you'll like this. <laughs> I uh, probably not. You're a holy man. You wouldn't like that. Nah. <clears throat> oh, it's just a just a uh, just a jug that makes water and wine and stuff every day. It kind of resets. Uh, it's nothing big. It's called a jug of alchemy. It's like one of my favorite items. Oh, Ender, this sounds interesting. What's it do? He, ah, it's almost as big as him. And he pulls it out and sets it down. He goes, ah, you just take these corks and you just kind of switch them around and different things pour out of it. You know, you can make a, every day you can make acid or poison, beer, honey, oil, vinegar, fresh water, salt water, wine, or even oil? you can make oil, one quart of oil a day. So you could lather up that chest of piano wire hair that you have there. And you could look great. <laughs> <laughs> and it also makes it makes two gallons of mayonnaise a day. So if you're going to make a sandwich shop there in Waterdeep, you'll never <laughs> run out of mayonnaise. Or, or I guess you could say in Daggerford, where you guys are going back to Daggerford. Sir Estiva would love to eat two gallons of mayonnaise a day. <laughs> mm, I'll pass on that. <clears throat> Don't like mayonnaise myself. Yeah. Yeah, it's 500 if you want it, but eh, I've had it for quite a while. Nobody likes these things. Sometimes, sometimes they leak. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you looking for, Holy Man? Anything in particular? I got any helms or shields. I'm partial to my mace. Hmm. Let's see. I don't think you can afford that one. Uh, let's see. I definitely don't think you can afford that one. Oh. Oh. I've got a brooch of shielding. You're going to have to perform mm -hmm. a ritual on this. But this brooch of shielding, and he breaks it out and shows it to you. He says, this thing right here, this will make you have resistance to force damage. And you'll also be immune from those pesky little magic missiles. And I'll take 500 for this. Deal. Oh, nice. All right. So let's, uh, let's, let's put this on Ander. All right, there you go. We'll have to make a couple pendants for you for that, too. All right, Zero. All right, so uh, how about you, Mr. Zero? Is there anything that you're looking for in particular? Hmm? Looks like you've got a bunch of gold burning a hole in your pouch as well. Uh, well, the slippers are fun. Um, hmm. I don't know. Cardos, are you looking for anything in particular? I'll get back to you. Something. Hmm, what kind of something? Something to help me cast spells. Sorry about my outbreak earlier. That was the demon coming out. That's okay. <laughs> I've, I've heard worse. Uh, I've done a lot of dealings with a lot of the creatures and denizens of the Underdark. Uh, you're actually pretty tame compared to some of them. <laughs> Real talk, it was like 90 degrees mm. in my room. <laughs> Yeah, you're just happy. Uh, just be happy that my friend Drizzt wasn't here. He probably would have lit you up with his uh, flaming scimitars, <laughs> even though they're not. I probably flaming. would deserve it. Oh, and just All think right. if his panther would have got a hold of you. Oh, then it would have really been chopped liver. 
Well, I was wondering if you had something in particular. Um, a pearl? A pearl? Hmm. Are you looking at the Dungeon Master's Guide? Are you looking at no. the items in the Dungeon Master's Guide? Because that would probably help me out a little bit here. Hmm. I'm not. I was. It's for a spell. Oh. Oh. Apps for identify. How'd you know? Oh, because Mick knows just about anything. Hundred gold. Hundred gold sold. All right. <clears throat> Let's get to. Uh... Oh, zero. Did you have to bail out, man? Yeah. He's yeah. Like... He took off. Yeah, it's, he, uh, it's, it's he had to work in a past time. No. Oh, man, sorry. We are past uh, time, but sorry about that, guys. I'll I'm enjoying yeah, so zero got Zero got something, so I'll send him a, a message. Do uh, you have any scrolls of uh, what kind of spells do you have? Whatever you want, Mick Scott. <laughs> it's called economy control, baby. Let's do it. <clears throat> I mean, look. Ander, do you want anything else? Um, Lynn, are you looking for anything else? Gimbal? Well, you've cleaned me out, Mick. I don't have any more money. Mm, that's, that's, up. Oh, I'm just getting this in from the Dungeon Master again. Mission accomplished. He says mission accomplished. <laughs> but you guys have some pretty nice gear, so yeah. Okay. Um you would you happen got, to have the spell uh time. the floating disc. I forget what it's Tensors? That, yeah, that's it. Hmm. You're just in luck. I do have one scroll of Tensor's floating disc. It's going to cost you a hundred gold. I'll get it. Anything else? I think that about does it for me. Gimbal? I told you, you cleaned me out. Well, I'm just double checking here. I'm a, hey. I'm wheeling and dealing here. I'm trying to make that gold. Ander, anything else for you, my friend? Any, uh, any rings? Any rings? What, what rings might you have? Anything that's... Maybe that'll make me wise beyond my years. Probably not for how much money you have. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, these are all these are all pretty pricey. Yeah, everything's yeah, he pulls out like a hand. He has like this big like mannequin hand with about 20 different rings on it. And he's yeah, <laughs> yeah he's saying, "Yeah, this is 5,000." He's got these little price price tags hanging down from him. This is 5,000. This oh, hey, I got a ring here that you might be able to afford for 500. It's called the ring of jumping and he tells you when you're wearing this ring you can cast a jump spell from it as a bonus action but you can only target yourself when you do so <clears throat> so basically you touch yourself and your jump distance is tripled All right, I'll take it. Interesting. Could hmm. be useful. All right, my man. Let's get this out of your sheet. Oh, this is fun, isn't it? I'm just having a blast. <laughs> so, Mick, what? Yes. Uh, uh, Lynn, Lynn kind of leans in and and uh, and says, um, "Do you happen to have any uh, any uh, Omi Barton uh, like merchandise? I'm asking for a friend." <clears throat> You know, spoon the world tour and all that. Uh, maybe. Maybe a spoon bobblehead or a <laughs> something else in that matter. <laughs> Limited edition. <laughs> Anything autographed? I, I mean, I. 
Again, not for me, it, it, for, for a friend. <clears throat> uh, what's your friend's name? Uh, uh, yeah, it's ben. for you. <laughs> yeah, it is. Bend over. Here comes the spoon, right? <laughs> 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 He's got some Spoon the World shirts Actually signed by Emmy Barton <laughs> Alright I'll, I'll hand over whatever he wants He says in fact uh, I'll give all of you one For all of the business that you've <laughs> That you've given to me today So everybody gets an Emmy Barton Spoon the World t-shirt <laughs> Alright <laughs> Alright can I put even, that on? <laughs> even zero, yeah. I'm gonna cut cut mine off at the uh, you know where it's just sort of a crop top and so they can put it see over your my abs armor. on your armor. So I can still yeah my abs still show yeah. <laughs> Fucking six sure. pack armor! Oh my gosh. <clears throat> All right, so that's what. <laughs> Good job, guys. That was fun tonight. You guys uh, got a bunch of stuff tonight. Got all that stuff taken care of. Everything sold. Now, you still have uh, Boo Boo Darwa. You take her back to, and in fact, where we'll pick up next time, we'll pick up next time where you guys are heading back into Daggerford. The heroes of Daggerford, the Dragon Slayers. So we'll head you back. Play the dragon? Uh, oh, yeah. They can tell you that on the way back to, on the way back to Daggerford. Oh, Gimbal, we've got a story for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so good game, guys. I appreciate you guys playing. Sorry we went over late. I should have fine. asked you guys, but uh, I uh, oh, I'm I'm, I'm fine. Uh, fine with me, All right, everybody. Well, I'll leave the game up for a little while if you guys need it, and uh, I'll see you guys next time where we are heading back into Daggerford with uh, Boo Boo Darwa.